Holtz has joined us along with player Jacob Hoberg and Camden Counts for the Bears. And Coach, heading into your first season at Central, which has been a busy offseason for you. What do we try to implement with this group this summer getting ready for 2019? Uh, I think the most important thing is by far our relationships and that way of them to take time. So I, I think just you know, just getting to know the kids, showing them I care about them, having them at the house, you know, trying to make football fun. Uh, I just more, more important than anything, just build relationships with the community, the youth football program, teachers, principal, administration, everybody involved. And that takes time. That way we can throw up. I mean, I can get strong in a week, uh, but just more than anything, just relationships, weight room, and just the expectations. Obviously, Central had a great run at the state finals last year and, and one of the better games ever in the state finals, they had four overtimes. You've been around this group for a short amount of time. What do you like about this group? I, I love that the expectations are high. Uh, Andy Owen and Coach Burr just done a great job. I know last three years were 33 and 6, which is unbelievable. So I, I love the high expectations. The kids, the kids want a lot, they, they want to win, and just trying to just let them know that. You know, Wanting to win and having the goal is one thing, but understanding what it takes to achieve those goals is something entirely different. So I'm just trying to make sure that we're, we have a direct correlation between what our goals are and what our actions are that way they match up. My question for Central. I guess just as players going to state last year, does that does that raise expectations? Does it put pressure on you or do you just kind of move on from it? You know, how how do you treat moving on from last year? I think it definitely puts a little bit of pressure because we want to go back and win this time. You just got to you know, you get through the season first and then the game's going to be And then for you, uh, I guess just building on last year, what do you think is the most important part to kind of carry over and continue the success that Central's had the last few years? Just continue to play our game, uh, play our game, keep going. Um, uh, stay, up, stay focused, just have milestones. You know, we're not just going to go straight to state. You know, play the season, win the sections, win the region, semi state, make goals, small milestones, and keep going. All right, uh, this is for Camden and Jacob. I mean, that last year, the way it ended at so close and the way it did in overtime, just how much did, do you think about that, how it ended in that game? Now, or how quickly did you put it behind you? Uh, I mean, it was definitely staying in the back of our head. But I mean, you can't go on that and stay in the back of our head. We move on. It's another season with players. Just keep, keep our head up. Keep playing. Uh, it leaves a chip on our shoulder and losing and stuff. But we just, like he said, we got to keep going. We got to win games, make it back, and just try to our best in this time. I know in years past, Central's always kind of had kind of this underdog maybe mentality, but you guys made it all the way to state last year. Has that changed a little bit? Or, you know, what, what do you feel like you still have to prove this year? Uh, I don't know. I still, I still think I got a lot to prove. I mean, we lost a lot of seniors and stuff, so these guys back out there. The big and strong world. Yeah. Um, Coach, what, what's just been the biggest uh, difficulty or maybe not even difficulty, but just coming into a new team, uh, a team that made it all the way to state last year, has that made it easier because there's so much talent or harder for you to kind of with the learning curve of getting up to speed with everything, you know, just what's it been like? Sure, I, I would just say maybe just taking over in May, you know, and taking over from afar because I finished my teaching job in Chicago. Uh, but I've done it before. I've been a head coach before and, and been a part of you know, I played with the program in Illinois that you know, went to state and won state. And I coached the program in Illinois as well that, that won state championship in Boston So I'm um, used to be a part of a program like this. I wanted to be a part of a program like this. And I didn't apply many jobs. So when I said Central from Open, it, it was intentional that I applied for this job. And I was ecstatic that I got and I wanted to be part of a program where that, the expectations were high. What do you know about football in Evansville or just kind of Southwest Indiana? I, I'm really close to the Owen family. Uh, we, we've had generations of Owens and Evansville coaching for a long time, and one of them saw our city AD is actually sitting over there right now. So it's close to that. I'm just, I'm just trying to ask, you know, so, you know, I, I feel like head coaching in football, I have a pretty good feel for that. So just things that are specific to Evansville. Just trying to ask a lot of questions, be open minded, and figure out what's worked and what doesn't work. And just trying to, you know, again, things that are specific to Evansville Central that work for them. I'm just trying to ask a lot of questions and get feedback and make people you know, feel part of the process and what it is. 
uh, for Camden or Jacob. I know he's standing, sitting right next to you, but just wh how, what has it been like having Coach Coltis in just for even a couple months? Uh, it's been great. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, participation in the weight room already this year. Younger classmen have really put in the work. We've been for four years, and he's put a lot of emphasis on building from our lower, lower, uh, lower classes. Uh, our youth program has kind of went down in the past few years, but uh, with him, I think it will definitely come up. And Central football will be on top for a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, like he said, he's, he's been really a hard on us in the weight room. Trying to get bigger and stronger. We lost a lot of good linemen, so we're just trying to build them, build them up again. Yeah. Uh, coach, speaking of the line, I mean, you weren't here last year, but they graduated at least four starters. What's gonna? What do you see out of the guys that do arc back, and what do you, they need to do to keep this momentum going? Right. I, I think any team that's had a lot of success is going to lose the graduation of Slade Dulles from the soil. I, I think, again, it's, you know, it's a very good opportunity. We're going to have some competition there. And, you know, I think more than anything is, you know, just you, you get reps, you get in there, and just get better every single day. So, you know, we've got some young kids in there, and they're just going to improve significantly with every single rep. There's, there's a lot to be said for just knowing what to do, and just, you know, just focus on day to day. Every single day, every kid on our team needs to be a little bit smart. Maybe they make a mistake they made previously, they eliminate a mistake. They're a little bit stronger. They really like force. We're just kind of focused on that. I, I know you guys keep asking about the state and this now. It's a big leader in state by day. Just, I, know, I know the best coaches, you know, Saban and Belichick and them. They never even talk about championships. They didn't talk about winning. They just talk about the process and just that struggle. The day that we struggle with just showing up, busting your butt, and just focus on being the moment. And what you can do with that moment to get better. That, that's all we're focused on. And hopefully the result, the result is a championship or the win. But that's not the goal. The goal is. You know, what, what can we do right now, you know, today to get better? Any final questions for Central?